We do have a lot coming up for you this hour. Oh, do we ever? A little something for everyone, it sounds like. First today, though, the next round of testimony in the impeachment inquiry investigation is underway. Up today, former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Yavonovich. Lena DeFlorius is in our satellite center monitoring the hearing. Lena? Yes, you know, and it just got started. We just started to hear answers from Marie Ivanovich, but already very dramatic. And one of the reasons is this, this transcript released by the White House and President Trump moments before the hearing even got started. This is a transcript of a phone call that happened on April the 21st between President Trump and President Zelensky immediately after Zelensky was elected into office. Now, it's important to note this is not the phone call that led to this inquiry, that phone call happening on July the 25th. But already a lot of tug of war between Republicans and Democrats before Ivanovich was even sworn in. We had three points of order, at least from Republicans, and Chairman Schiff declining all of them, not recognizing any of them before looking directly into the camera, seemingly speaking directly to President Trump, asking him to stop obstructing witnesses and other documents, thousands of documents, he says, which are currently being held by the White House and the State Department. Now, once Ivanovich started with her opening statement, she used that as an opportunity to say that she was not in any way subverting President Trump's foreign policy in Ukraine. Also untrue are unsourced allegations that I told unidentified embassy employees or Ukrainian officials that President Trump's orders should be ignored because he was going to be impeached or for any other reason. I did not. And I would not say such a thing. Such statements would be inconsistent with my training as a Foreign Service officer and my role as an ambassador. Now, as we move into the phase where we will be hearing not only from the House lawyers, both Republican and Democrat, we'll see that ping pong that we saw on Wednesday, where each member of the committee will have five minutes to answer or ask questions of Ivanovich. Now, one thing you won't see is David Holmes, who is also testifying on the Hill today. That is behind closed doors. Now, he is the aide to Ambassador Bill Taylor, who said that he overheard a phone conversation between President Trump and Ambassador Sondland to the EU, where the ambassador reported said that the president is more interested in investigations into Biden than he is in foreign policy in Ukraine. Back to you. All right, thanks. Update. We, also, that you can watch it if you want to see the full mm -hmm. uh, proceedings, you can go to fox26houston.com and we'll be carrying it there. All right, the weekend has arrived. You ready yes, to see what is. we can expect with the weather? I'm excited that it's going to be chilly.